Welcome back, wealthy people, to a new episode on the Wealth Up channel, where we discuss everything new around Tesla, the Cybertruck, and other EV news. Today, we will take a look at a new Tesla patent, big delay problems for Giga Berlin, and of course, we have the Tesla video of the day for you later on in the video. Make sure to leave us a like if you're excited, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Tesla Patent Outlines New System Seatbelts have saved countless lives since they were introduced, especially after Swedish engineer Niles Bolin invented the now ubiquitous three-point seatbelt in 1958. Inasmuch as seatbelts are a proven safety system, however, it's still very easy to misuse them. One such example was demonstrated by Consumer Report recently when the magazine decided to show exactly how drivers could trick Tesla's autopilot driver monitoring system. In Consumer Report demonstration, the magazine tester tricked Tesla's driver monitoring system by buckling in the driver's seatbelt without a person in the seat. After this, the magazine tester simply sat on top of the buckled seatbelt, effectively fooling the Model Y into thinking that the driver was wearing his seatbelt properly. Fortunately, it appears that Tesla is working on a way to prevent such tricks from happening. This was hinted at in a recently granted patent that outlined a system that detects improper seatbelt use. Published in 2019 and granted earlier this year, Tesla patent for improper seatbelt usage detection provides a good way for the company's vehicles to actually determine if its occupants are belted in properly. Tesla acknowledged the issue of drivers not wearing their seatbelts properly in the patent's background. For safety belt systems to be effective, seatbelts must be worn as intended. However, occupants do not always wear the seatbelt as intended. For example, occupants have been observed wearing the shoulder belt portion belt behind their back, their shoulder belt portion under their arms, or hold another occupant on their lap. Current monitoring systems cannot determine whether an occupant is properly using a seatbelt. Thus, there is a need for a system that detects improper use of seatbelts, Tesla wrote. Tesla patents utilize sensor models to ensure that occupants are wearing their seatbelts correctly. These sensor modules could compromise more than one sensor, and they could be embedded within a vehicle seat. Some sensor modules also utilize inert sensors or radio frequency RF beacons, which would be used to determine if seatbelts are being used as designed. A controller that receives signals from the sensors and determines proper or improper seatbelt usage is also mentioned in the patent. This, as hinted at by Tesla illustrations in the patent, is extremely pertinent for vehicles that could operate without active human input. In the patent discussion, Tesla notes that the system's controller includes an associated memory that could store data regarding the vehicle's use. This data includes occupant profiles such as information on weight, height, and general posture, among others. What's rather remarkable is that Tesla's patent is designed to detect even casually improper seatbelt use, such as when drivers place the shoulder belt under their arms or when passengers hold a non-belted occupant on their lap. The EV maker outlined what happens in the vehicle if improper seatbelt use is determined. After determining improper usage of seatbelt 306, controller 404 may issue a warning, a notification, sound an alarm, or may even not allow to operate vehicle 100 until seatbelt 306 is used properly. A warning may be a text displayed on the display system vehicle infotainment system, or an alarm sounding on vehicle infotainment system, a text message to registered mobile number of occupant, etc. Controller 404 may perform any other type of follow-up actions as well as to ensure proper usage of seatbelt 306 while driving vehicle 100. The present disclosure is not limited by any such follow-up actions in any manner, Tesla wrote. With such systems in place, Tesla could highlight its place as the maker of the world's safest vehicle. Teslas are already safe to begin with thanks to their all-electric design that gives them a lower center of gravity and a generous crumple zone. But with a slew of systems such as autopilot and improper seatbelt detection systems, perhaps it wouldn't be so long before professional auto testers like Consumer Report can no longer trick Tesla's safety features successfully. Tesla Giga Berlin isn't facing a six-month delay, German ministers. 
Teatro Giga Berlin is the electric automaker's first European production facility and is slated to begin production of the Model Y crossover later this year. However, reports out of Germany indicated that Tesla's German EV manufacturing facility is poised to be delayed six months due to numerous constraints that deal with the battery pack output. However, Brandenburg economic minister Jörg Steinbach, who has been one of Tesla's most vocal supporters in their quest to open the German facility, isn't buying the six-month delay story at all. Steinbach still believes Tesla is on pace for a late summer or early autumn start at Giga Berlin. The delays at Giga Berlin are not unfamiliar territory for those who have been following the site's development over the past 18 months, but being announced by Elon Musk in late 2019, Tesla started land preparations in in January of 2020, only to begin erecting the mainframe of the facility just a few months later. The site has been subject to numerous short-term delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic and some application holdups that needed preliminary approval before Tesla could move forward. However, recent reports from Germany suggest a more long-term delay is in store for Tesla because battery pack outputs won't allow for vehicle production. Many outlets have cited Automobile Watch story that says the German manufacturing plant won't become operational until January 2022. The article indicates that company circles close to Elon Musk state the CEO is accepting the January 2022 date, even though just last week during the Q1 2021 earnings call, Musk said that limited production would occur at both Giga Berlin and Giga Texas this year. They're building factories as quick as they can. Both Texas and Berlin are progressing well, and we expect them to have initial limited production from those facilities this year and volume production from Texas and Berlin next year. Steinbach's not buying Giga Berlin's delay story. Now that the reports have been in the loop for a few days, plenty of people are finding out that Giga Berlin is apparently facing a six-month delay. One of the people disagreeing with those reports is Brandenburg economic minister Jörg Steinbach, a well-known politician that's been ecstatic regarding Tesla's entry into the German economy. Steinbach told Tesorati earlier today that he doesn't know where the six-month delay rumours are circulating from. Still, he expects Giga Berlin to face approximately three months of delay time. I don't have the faintest idea how anyone can come up with a six-month delay, Steinbach has said to Tesorati in an interview. If nothing happens out of the ordinary, I still expect a start of production in late summer or early autumn, the economic minister added. While Tesla has expressed some frustration with the German approval process, it's not unordinary for things to take several years to earn ultimate approval. Tesorati spoke to the German engineer and Tesla enthusiast Alex Voigt last week, who indicated that many projects take between three and five years to gain ultimate approval. It appears that the basis of the delay seems to be blamed on the delay of the 4680 cell production in Berlin, but the German factory battery line was not supposed to support the initial vehicle production efforts in the first place. Tesla's Cato Road facility in Northern California site, just a stone's throw away from the Fremont factory where Tesla has manufactured its car since 2012. This is where Tesla is refining and developing the 4680 battery cell, which differs greatly from the batteries that Tesla currently uses in terms of power and performance. And it will support Tesla's initial efforts in Berlin, according to Drew Baglino, the company's senior VP of powertrain and energy engineering. They will incorporate 4680 design solutions into many applications in time across both energy and vehicle, and we can use our pilot production facility in Fremont to support the new factory in Berlin as it ramps up. The delays at Giga Berlin could be confused with something as simple as an extended timeline, as Tesla's addition of its 4680 battery cell manufacturing line to its application was submitted just last week. The additional portions of the application require more deliberation from regulators. If this additional investment now flows into the permit application, it goes without saying that the application document must be revised and then the approval authorities have the last word. Tesla is still planning for Giga Berlin to begin production and deliveries this year, as it indicates in the most recent update letter that timing remains on track for late 2021. Machinery for paint, stamping and casting etc. continues to be moved into the building. In the meantime, they will continue to increase import volumes to Europe. Alright guys, it's time for the video of the day. Let's take a look. So I'm home and I got kind of bored. 
and I realized you could pop this off, which is right there, and this only has two bolts. So I took it off, and this is the inside of the Model Y on the front, and that's the heat pump. That's kind of cool. How was that for a video? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Would you like to have your video on here? Then leave us a mail in the address in the description. And that's it for today's video. What do you think of the new Tesla patent? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below. Also, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This video was brought to you by Neil Glasgow and as always, see you next time, wealthy people.